In the years since Roe v. Wade was overturned by the Supreme Court, abortions in Kentucky have basically stopped. There have been a few procedures done to save the life of an expectant mother, but otherwise, terminating a pregnancy in the Commonwealth is basically forbidden. Of course, our abortion services on site have stopped. We are no longer able to provide abortion care here. Obviously, our uh, recovery room uh, remains empty. A gathering at Planned Parenthood in Louisville included Congressman Morgan McGarvey. He told supporters about a call to his office from a woman who had just received her 20-week ultrasound. Not only did she have a child that didn't have a skull, the stomach was outside the body, a 0% chance of life. She'd be forced for another 20 weeks to carry before being forced to have a C-section. On this one-year anniversary of the Dobbs decision, which put an end to constitutionally protected abortion access, Pro-life supporters continue to praise the high court's ruling. It's important to remind folks that, you know, Roe v. Wade was the most egregiously uh, decided decision in our nation's history, a, a grave injustice that was uh, perpetrated on the um, on the American people and, and on all 50 states that said that um, there was a secret hidden constitutional right to, to kill an unborn child. The issue of changing hearts, changing one heart to save two lives, changing the hearts of culture and society, to form a culture of life. You know, if you look at the money that was spent on the constitutional amendment and on all these legal cases, look what we could have done for mothers and children. As we've heard, the Dobbs decision has mobilized folks on both sides of the issue. And once again, abortion is expected to bring voters to the polls in 2024. Randall Cam, WLKY News.